everyone welcome to or welcome back to my channel so today I decided I wanted to do an assumptions video I asked you guys a while ago on my Instagram if you would leave your assumptions about me and I asked a little recently so I could gather up like old versus new stuff and I would like to go through those now and see what you guys think about me again if you haven't followed my Instagram it's at irocara it's super poppin you get to see my my pretty face on your feed, so definitely go over there. Let's get started. Number one, you think your dog is ugly. So if you haven't seen my dog, this is him. His name is Howie, and I like to call him ugly. Um, I think <laughs> where the joke came from is that everyone in my family goes oh he's so cute he's so handsome he's the cutest dog ever so I kind of said it as a joke because it's like he gets so much attention for being cute that I need to calm his ego down a little bit now he knows he's so cute you know so that's pretty much like how it started but now it's like my nickname for him I don't think he's actually ugly I mean he's like a chihuahua rat dog but we just don't want to I just don't want to tell him that he's cute because then everyone will think he's cute no you're mean to your sisters. So my little sister commented this. I am not mean to my sisters. Um, I think we just mess around with each other so much. That, like, I make fun of them. Well, at least my little sister and I were very, like, mocking to each other. And especially to my older sister, we do it. But I wouldn't say it's mean. It's like, it's like love. Love mean, love mocking, <laughs> yeah. Someone said, you're a straight A student. That is so funny, I wish. Um, I don't think I ever have had a 4.0, I wish. Um, I'm really bad at school and I've been working on my work ethic, so I wish, but I'm not just, I'm not that good. <laughs> Your favorite sister is Jenna. Jenna and I used to not get along at all, um, but I think in the more recent, like, year, we've gotten a lot closer because of cheer and school and me driving her around, and I think that's what happened with my sister. I think I'm close with both my sisters, so I couldn't even clarify if one is more favorite than the other. I love them both. I don't tell them that, but I do. I think you're very friendly um yeah it's true I'm pretty friendly unless you make me like pretty mad I don't I'm I'm usually a friendly person um, I understand that everyone's going through something so I try to give everyone a chance before I'm like kind of like stay away from them but I, I would like to think that I'm pretty friendly I assume that you love taking selfies I do like taking selfies when I look cute but that's like a once in a while kind of thing. Like, I don't look cute often. You want to be YouTube famous. Yes, I do want to be YouTube famous. I mean, like, I mean, everybody wants to be YouTube famous. I just, I love my YouTube channel and I would hope that one day it gets recognition for how much hard work I put into it. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like everybody wants to be YouTube famous if they have a channel. It's like, it shows that people like what you're making and that's my main goal is for people to like what I'm making. So there you go. That you are crazy by definition. Well, people call me crazy Kara because I'm outgoing and loud, but I don't think I'm like psycho crazy. Could be, but I'm not. Um, ha <laughs> ha You secretly hate cheer. I don't hate cheer. Cheer has its ups and downs with everything. Every sport, every club, everything you do in life has little things that just annoy you, annoy the crap out of you. But you know, at the end of the day, I love the sport and I love the girls on my team and I wouldn't really trade it for anything. So yeah. You don't actually like Crocs. That is not true. I like Crocs. I have a lot of Crocs in there. So I'd be really worried if I've spent all that money buying Crocs and I didn't like Crocs. So I'd like to say that I like Crocs. <laughs> my older sister said you're a bitch. Um, Hannah? You're rude. This is what I talk about when I'm saying that my sisters, like to, we like to pick on each other. You're evil. I hope you don't come back from college. <laughs> my sister's friend said, you're 6'3". I'm actually only 5'10", haters. The next one is you don't take anyone seriously. Um, I don't know, you don't take anyone serious. 
I don't know how or like what this means like I take things seriously when I need to sometimes I don't but I try to I mean I think I'm more of a lighthearted person so around my friends and at school and like cheer I'm a lot more outgoing I feel like I take things more serious at home I guess that's a good way to put it <laughs> you a big booty hoe um no I'm a small booty not a hoe small booty owl that's the best way to put it you're the cutest biddy around town my best friend said this ain't i love you best friend before i knew you i thought you were a stuck up rich white girl sorry that's a little harsh no it's fine um i feel like most people think this about me when i was in middle school there was a rumor that went around when the iphone 6 first came out that i had two of them and i didn't know why People just always assume I'm rich. Um, I mean, personally, me, I have a dollar seventy-six in my bank account, so I'm not rich. <laughs> uh, my parents treat like give me nice stuff every once in a while, like for my birthday and stuff. So I think we're well off. Like we have a happy life, and I'm really privileged for that. But um, I don't know. They wouldn't consider themselves rich, and. I personally don't have any money, so I don't know if you're talking about me, but yeah. Someone said, you are really nice to people, but you find most people annoying. Uh, this is again really nice. Um, I find, I like to be nice to a lot of people. I do find um, certain people annoying, but you know, I try my best to make everyone feel involved, unless they've effed me over multiple times, and then there's snip snip cut so best way I could put that one someone said you adore your sister which one because I don't adore you either you're very talented um I don't know about what um I wouldn't consider myself talented at all with anything um the only thing that I've had a slight bit of success with is YouTube, so if you mean that, then thank you! Anything else, I'm very bad at, so yeah, that's all I can really think you're thinking about. My friend said, you're tall! Again, we've addressed this, I'm tall, blah blah blah, I'm 5'10", blah 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 blah. Someone said, you care more about cheer than you care about school. Um, I don't think that's true. I think everybody just likes their activities they do more than school because school is lame hence the reason I'm not at my high school anymore so I hope this changes thank you you're a Libra this is true I'm born in October so I am a Libra um, the superior the loving the outgoing girlies I I actually love the Libra star sign about like the most next to Taurus as I said but I know that's like, I don't like other Libras, but I think the qualities of Libras is some really good traits. And I'm not tooting my own horn, but that's why I'm a people person, because people like Libras. There you go. Super cool, but spoiled. Um, ah, yeah, I'm super cool, but, um, again, back to what I was saying. My parents do spoil me on, like, my birthday, and I'm super privileged with it. And, like, they buy me, like, nice phones and stuff like this. But, like, when it's not my birthday, or it's not Christmas, or it's not back to school shopping for, like, normal things like that, they don't just buy me something out of, like, the blue. Like, my $800 camera, like, a lot of my friends know that, like, this camera that I paid for worked my butt off, and they helped me, like, get my job stuff for that. So, like, they spoil me, and they're good parents, but they don't buy me everything, if that makes sense. They still make me have a work ethic, which I think is a really good balance. Because, yeah, that's exactly how to put it. My next one asks or says that I'm pretty popular in high school. Um, I definitely wouldn't say I'm popular in any sense, but I think that I am well known just because I've lived in the same city my entire life, and especially because I have older and younger siblings, that gives me a lot of like people knowing who I am because like oh I know your sister or oh I know your like I know your older sister or I know your younger sister or blah 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 or you've done tennis you've done wrestling you've done drama so I feel like one people know me from my siblings or they either know me because I've done a lot of sports and activities and clubs 
So I am around my school a lot, which um, makes sense as to why a lot of people would know me. But I wouldn't consider myself popular, if that makes sense. Another one that says you actually hate Crocs. I don't know why you guys keep assuming that I hate Crocs, but I really don't. Um, I wouldn't build my empire around Crocs if I didn't like them, so that's just the tea. <laughs> I really like this one. It says, you don't hide anything from your audience. You're really open on camera. I would definitely say that there's a few things in my life that I haven't opened up to on camera yet because even as like the biggest YouTubers say, there's some things in your life that you want to keep um, private. But I try to, especially now, share as much as I can with you guys because you guys do want to trust your as I've said, you guys want to trust your person that you're watching on camera, and so it's like, why would you want to watch me if you can't trust me, you know? This one says, you are very dedicated to your YouTube channel and a hard worker. I am very dedicated to my YouTube channel. Um, I try to post every single day, and I really, I really like it, and uh, I like how YouTube is a business and how you can see yourself progress, so I am really dedicated to it, and I think it's really nice, like, seeing this comment and seeing that people are or like that she said that you can tell that I'm a hard worker I guess uh, it makes me really happy though cuz I put a lot of energy into this channel so if you guys can tell that I'm working hard that's makes me happy so thank you someone said you aren't religious so I actually am religious I just it's a hard way to explain um, I am Catholic that's how I was baptized but I don't go to church regularly but I do support um, the religion, if that makes sense. I, yeah, I don't know how, I think that's the best way to explain it. Uh, okay, um, so they said, at first you were kind of intimidating to me, but you're so kind, helpful, and supportive. So this girl is in my YouTube group chat, one of them, and um, in that chat I like to help the other people grow, because I feel like this last year, I've grown a lot, like a thousand subscribers in a year, as I've said, and I've learned a lot of secrets along the way and a lot of tricks to help grow your channel, and I am I really like to help others that want to grow their channel, so if you ever have a question about something in YouTube, and you're a small YouTuber, because most of the people that watch me are small YouTubers, don't hesitate to ask me a question, because even though I'm not the best, I've grown a lot, and I know a lot of things, and I've worked my butt off, so... I could like to say that I know quite a bit. So someone said, you get mad over the smallest things. I don't get mad over the smallest things. I get mad when people are rude to me for no reason or they are um, disrespectful to me or my friends. I guess I'm a kind of person that's very loyal. And so if I see you not being loyal, the same way it kind of offends me in a way someone said you're actually really really sweet but people think you have an RBF someone said you're really cool and I'm jelly well thank you someone said you're nice lol um thank you uh yeah I think so maybe sometimes someone said you don't give yourself enough credit for how perfect you are perfect is a strong word um I am far from that, but I grow each day and try to better myself. That's the best way I can put that one. You're a goody-goody. I am a goody-goody, I will admit that one. Um, I don't do any of the bad things that other kids do. Um, well, I don't, I just don't have interest in it and yeah. I think that there's better things I can put my time into rather than drugs, alcohol, and vape, and I'm not really interested in that. You're too cool for school. Technically, I am. You're gay. Uh, my little sister said this. I am not gay. I don't. I think she meant this as a joke, but I'm not gay. That's a clarification. And another person said, and this is the last one, they said, you don't like cheer. Why does everyone think I don't like cheer? I don't even talk about it to people that aren't like my friends and aren't on my cheer team. I do like cheer. It has its moments, as I said, but I do like cheer. 
And that's it. That's all of your guys' assumptions from three different posts of me asking you what your assumptions were. Thank you guys so much for watching this assumptions video. If you liked this video or any of my sit down videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And also, if you have any video ideas for future videos, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.